The Lisbon Treaty offers three main tools for the Union's foreign policy. The first two are the diplomatic service and the office of High Representative Vice President of the European Commission. Yet this brings me to the third innovation of the Lisbon Treaty related to the Union's role in the world, the establishment of a so-called permanent presidency of the European Council. I am well aware that as first incumbent of this new post, I too I am in a way an object of your research. The change is summarized in one word, continuity. The permanent presidency gives the Union a chairman that, and face to the outside world at the level of the heads of state or government where ever more diplomatic activity takes place. Knowing the importance of personal contacts in foreign relations, this can be a powerful asset. The bilateral summits between the European Union and its nine strategic partners are a clear case in point. Seeing each other officially and regularly means that a real dialogue can develop. No temptation to reset every semester. It also means that certain issues do not have to be solved immediately. A permanent presidency does not need a success at the end of every six months. We are moving forward step by step. And that's why individual breakthroughs count. That's how Europe has always made progress, especially in an arena which is as delicate as foreign affairs.